It's a new month, I have a new poster to show you, and we're going to talk about some very deep issues that maybe you're struggling with. Coming up next on Pastor Bob's Coffee Break. You want to see it? It's our newest mug. It says, hurt people, hurt people. It's our new poster also for the month. And um, it's what we're going to start talking about today. Hurt people, hurt people. You can get those things right here at wearemetalwearefamily.com. And what else do we have? Well, I have a surprise. Now, you know we've had these pins in there for a while. Sanctuary, we are metal, we are family. But we have patches. Yeah, patches. I'm excited. I'm going to put one on all of my shirts. And it's the same thing. And they are such cool patches. Aren't those awesome? And, uh, well, if I can not drop it. But, yeah, they're, they're uh, cloth patches. They're excellently done. I mean, right down to the details. Can you see that? And uh, they are in the store, and we have them at a reduced price. So there you go. And again, all of the things that we sell aren't just because we want to sell stuff. They're things I'd love for you to have, but the profits go to the homeless ministry, and we're excited about that. Well, hurt people hurt people. And that's a really difficult thing. There's so many of you who are watching me right now who are going through this. People who have been emotionally damaged and, and people who have gone through difficult times. And because of that, hurt people tend to hurt other people, tend to inflict their, their hurt and their pain on other people. Now, you will recognize two people here. You'll recognize yourself most likely in areas. You'll also recognize people that you're close to that are going through the same thing. For example, <clears throat> a large percentage of those people who have been sexually abused become abusers of others themselves. Those people that have suffered under a, an alcoholic parent often become alcoholics themselves. There are some things that seem to transfer and it becomes a problem. Well, the Bible gives us a little bit of a glimpse as to, you know, how we should be and how, uh, what a whole person looks like. If you want to take your Bibles out, it's 1 Thessalonians 5.23. And it says, now may the God of peace himself sanctify you through and through. That is, separate you from profane and vulgar things, make you pure and whole and undamaged, consecrated to him, set apart for his purpose, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept complete and be found blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, that's a pretty big deal. And you say, wow, I love that list. I wish I was that person. You see, this is what God does when he begins to sanctify us. He begins to sanctify us, the Bible says, through and through. God begins a work and you say, well, I'm so damaged. I, I grew up being sexually abused from alcoholic parents. That's a big deal. And so many other people have similar things that they struggle with, difficult things. But it says here that the God of peace himself is sanctifying us through and through. And, and he's separating you from profane and vulgar things, making you, he's making you pure and whole and undamaged. You say, I'm totally damaged. How can I be undamaged? through the power of the Holy Spirit. Sanctification. Sanctification isn't snapping your fingers and it's done. 
Sanctification is that process that he takes us through to become that pure and whole and undamaged person, consecrated to him, set apart for his purpose. You see, there's a purpose in the whole thing. And then he says, and he makes a blessing. He says, may your spirit and soul and body be complete and be found blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So this is the process that he takes us through. And I, I want to begin, and I think I'll probably do it today and tomorrow both. I want to begin to talk about what this looks like. And uh, if we don't get through it these two days, we'll continue it. It's a poster of the month. We can keep coming back to different aspects of it. But number one is this. Hurt people often transfer their inner anger onto their family members and their close friends. Now, you know that. It's like they're explosive. They're angry. They have very harsh tones many times. They have fits of rage sometimes. They all of a sudden start speaking over you when you try to talk and their voice gets loud and they stop you in the middle of a sentence and blast you because they think they know what you were about to say. Harsh tones. They become the recipients of transferred rage. Many of them. And it's not that they want to be like that. It's just that that's what they've learned. That's what they've gone through. And secondly, hurt people interpret every spoken word to them through the distortion of their pain. When you speak to them, they don't always hear what you say. There's an interpretation. You see, because of their pain, just ordinary words are are misinterpreted to mean something negative towards them. They're always misunderstanding you. Always. I have friends like this that I just have to spend time with. I have to over explain. And even then sometimes they, they're they feeling badly for something that they think I said that I didn't. And these people are extremely sensitive because of this, obviously and act out of pain instead of out of reality. They hear what you tell them through the filter of pain. That's horrible, isn't it? And yet every spoken word is through the distortion of pain. Well, the third one's very much like it. Hurt people interpret every action through the distortion of their pain. They suspect wrong motives or, or evil intent behind other people's actions towards them every time. Well, maybe not every time, but much of the time. Why did you do that? Why would you do that? They're always suspect and, and there's always another motive because that's how they see things. That's how they interpret. You see, folks, when we when we look at scripture, we realize that God knows that this is a problem. He's not surprised. He isn't surprised when you overreact, when somebody says something and you don't look at it with the right filters. He understands when you feel like you're being picked on, like people are saying things that that are ugly to you and and he understands that those people who have been traumatized, those people who have gone through, and you know, there's so many things on the list. I've just named sexual abuse and alcoholism, but there's so many more. He understands that this is a problem and he came to set us free. He just did. Some people say, well, Pastor Bob, you don't understand the extent of this. It goes so deep. Oh, I, I get it. And I get that, that a lot of times counseling is involved and needs to be. And I get that a lot of people feel trapped in it and feel like they're going to be this way forever. 
But can I just encourage you with this verse? Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you through and through. This is what he desires to do. This is the power of the Holy Spirit from your innermost being. It says, that is, may he separate you from profane and vulgar things. May he make you pure and whole and undamaged. Some of you have lost hope. And you say, you know, I, I don't ever believe I can be pure again. Some of you have been addicted to pornography for so long, you don't know what it's like to not be addicted and you have no hope of getting out of it. Some of you are doing drugs and you have no hope of getting out of it because you're hooked. Some of you are emotional basket cases and I am sometimes too. Pure, whole. What does it mean to be a whole person? I never know that until God begins the sanctification process in me and undamaged. How does a damaged person because become undamaged? Therefore, if any man is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old is gone, the new has come. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Pure, whole, undamaged, consecrated to him. He is your father. Set apart for his purpose. What is his purpose? His purpose is that you have the fruit of the Holy Spirit, that you begin to use all of those gifts that he's given you, the excitement for your purpose inside of you. And then it says, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept complete, all of those things, not just your spiritual part, and that's important too, not just spiritually, but emotionally, blameless and complete at the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, there's our encouragement for today. We're going to continue to talk about this. We're going to continue to get deeper and deeper, and I want you to continue to watch because all of us need a little healing in this area. Hurt people hurt people. And when you get away from the hurt, you also get away from your reaction with others. Don't forget, folks, you are blessed. So go and be a blessing.